Hey guys, it's a quick video. Um, an 07 Accord here, it was towed in from another shop. Uh, I'm, a, I'm also a salvage yard, so they needed an ECM. Um, they knew that I, I do stock these ECMs on the Accords and Civics. Um, I can't keep them in stock. Actually just got this 07 in and uh, I wasn't even here a week and I had the same shop there, a, a Honda Acura shop. I work on a lot of them in the in the inner city of Rochester and they needed the ECM. Um, they generally will get the car towed over to me. I'll put the used one in, program the keys for them, write the VIN, which I already did, uh, and they'll come pick it up. So I send a lot of these out of state too. Uh, I have a friend of mine that wants to buy an Autel. Um, he lives on an island in Key West and they hit, they're, a, they're a collision shop. And a lot of these simple functions that can be done with this tool for different car lines um, they're not able to do the closest place for them to send a car is Miami um, So George this one's for you, uh, but I also wanted to show everybody else that's watching How to use the Autel to perform uh, pretty simple things um, That some people probably look at as a big deal and send to the dealer uh, so we go into USA Basically build the car Actually, I already wrote the VIN before I started the video. Okay, so we're going to go to the e engine PGMFI. This tool is awesome. I actually just ordered the Elite. This is the 908P, but I just ordered the Elite. Um, Let's see here. Okay, so basically there's two different things. Uh, I, I got this car um, with, they already had pulled the computer out. Um, and all I did was, all I did was uh, plug the new computer in. So I don't have the old one. So if you did have another computer that was still communicating, uh, you could pull, you could pull data from the computer, swap them, you know, pull the data from the original computer, swap them. And then you could you could push the data back into it that way. But um, I already checked this uh, with the HDS. Um, it has the correct calibration. So what we're going to do now is do a VIN check. And this is actually what I did before I started filming. Uh, the entered VIN will be written. So this is where you can enter the VIN number um, into the computer. And that is what we did. We punched it in. Um, using the keypad, pressed enter. So I'm gonna back out of this because that's what I already did. Um, and it's actually really easy to do um, at that point, so. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. I've seen this before and it threw me for a loop for hours, hours, hours. And because I've seen this before, I took the engine cover off, right here, this VTEC cover. There's a ground right here, and it either corrodes, or in this case, is loose. Okay, so, I'll show you guys something real quick. And this, I gotta tell you, this before really screwed me up. All right, so we tighten that, tighten that right up. Okay, let's see here. And trust me, it was not easy the first time. It wasn't that easy the first time figuring that out. So now, I took care of that. Okay, let's see if we can communicate now with the immobilizer. Wow. And you really, I mean, with this kind of stuff, you live and you learn. So, um, we replaced ECM, PCM. That's what we did, so. This kind of thing, though, I mean, this, this is exactly why I wanted to make a video, just to... Just to show you guys, maybe you might have this this uh, issue sometime. Okay. Direct you to turn the ignition switch off. Back on. Registration of immobilizer codes in the immobilizer unit has been completed. Turn the ignition switch off now. Check all keyless remotes. We don't have any of those, so switch on. As you can see, the green immobilizer light has gone out. Keyless access, yes it is. 
Okay, so this works now. Now let's see if the car starts. Going out. All set, running. I don't know if this thing actually needed a computer. Um, I just wanted to show you what I go through normally um, when I am, you know, when I am doing it. And uh, and it definitely, we've, we've had some remote start shops send over cars that certainly needed computers. Uh, they probably could have been fixed by some of the, some of the you know, guys who do EEPROM work and, and uh, are more involved with that kind of thing than I am. Um, but there were, there were some that without a doubt you could smell they were cooked um, that uh, I sold them used computers. So I hope this video helps you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to uh, answer them.